Hello friends and welcome back to another video. So I did a thing, I saw lots of mandala artists on the internet using these beautiful embellishments, these little mirrors everywhere and I just thought to myself I need to get some for myself. So I finally did the thing, bought some little mirrors and I decided to create a piece of art. So in this video today I will be creating this beautiful colourful sacred mandala using mirrors as embellishments and also lots of teardrop shaped rhinestones. As usual this piece was not planned or thought out very well in advance. Um, if you have watched my videos previously you do know that I kind of like to go with the flow and see what comes out as I go along and in these videos and on my channel I kind of bring you along for the journey and encourage you to pick up some paint cones to unleash your creativity and create whatever flows through you as well. Everything that you'll need to create the piece I'm creating here today will be listed in the description box but as usual, as you know, you'll need a canvas, you'll need some acrylic paint cones in various different colours and obviously as I told you as well I did use mirrors as embellishments for this piece and also lots of different teardrop shaped rhinestones. I get my embellishments on my rhinestones from Timu at the moment which I really love because there's so much variety on there and also Amazon. So. Let's get into the process of creating this canvas. So to begin, I marked out two diagonal lines, just using a ruler and a pencil to mark out the center point of the canvas. And then I also measured the size and length of my mirror embellishments because I do wanna place one directly in the center. And I created a circle of that size just to place where it is gonna go. I don't actually add the mirrors into this piece as I go along. I am going to add them at the end. And the reason for that is every piece of artwork that I create, I do seal it with a sealant at the end. And obviously if I do apply like a gloss like sealant over the mirrors, it, they're not gonna shine anymore. So yeah, I actually finished the canvas without the mirrors, then I sealed it and then I added the mirrors right at the end, which you'll also see at the end of this video. And I know my voiceover is a little bit behind what's going on in the video, um, but let's bring us all up to speed. So I have created a circle using my gold acrylic paint cone, which is slightly bigger than the size of the mirror that is gonna be placed in the center. And then I have done a series of scallops or humps all the way around, and then picking up a different colored paint cone, in this piece I used my iridescent blue. I just did a layer of blue dots going around those scallops and then another layer of slightly bigger dots in a different color. Here I've used my beautiful iridescent green which looks absolutely stunning in person and just created another layer of dots. And then I have created another circle using the gold, another set of humps and now I am going in with my pink. And I very purposely left this part of the video in. So sometimes acrylic paint cones, they can splutter a little bit and a bit too much paint can come out. And that's exactly what happened here. But I just wanna show you how easy it can be to fix a mistake like that. So I just used a cotton bud to wipe that dot off. Obviously it left a bit of residue of the pink behind. So I just took a black acrylic paint cone and just went into that area and covered it up again and it's absolutely fine. And here you can see I'm going over that area with the pink paint cone now and you can't see a thing. So yeah, I just left that in to show you that mistakes can always be fixed and that applies to every area of our lives. And now I am just using my iridescent orange paint cone to create a layer of tiny little dots, 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 <laughs> dots on the inside rim of that circle that we created previously. And just on a side note, everyone, it is currently 1:49 a.m. <laughs> because this is the only time I get at the moment to sit and edit these videos. So. Yeah, it's been a long day. My voice probably sounds very tired and I'm getting a little bit of a sore throat as well. So please just excuse me <laughs> and excuse me if I do ramble on because I'm a little bit tired and it is the middle of the night. I'm now creating a layer of larger humps or scallops. Um, 
sitting directly on top of the smaller ones that we did earlier and these are larger because they are going to be filled with dots of a different colour so you'll see in a second I pick up my yellow acrylic paint cone and we're just going to do a dot inside each one of those little humps. If you do choose to recreate this piece of course you can choose whatever colours you want. For me personally there was no method to the magic here. I kind of just wanted it to be really colourful and really vibrant which is why I've chosen these colours but feel free to choose whatever you want and if you do recreate this don't forget to tag me as at beyond henna on social media. So now we're going to stick down our first set of teardrop shaped rhinestones to this piece. These I bought recently from Timu. They're quite large actually, I don't actually know the exact measurements but they are quite big and they're clear iridescent teardrop shaped rhinestones. They reflect the light, they reflect all different colours and they just look so beautiful in person so I thought they'd really fit with the vibe of this piece. So just using the diagonal guidelines that we created right at the start to mark out the centre, just use those to stick down four rhinestones and then you're going to stick one in the middle of each of those and that will give you eight nicely evenly spaced out rhinestones. And to stick them down as usual I just use my acrylic paint cone. So seeing as gold is the main building block of this piece that's what I'm using to stick them down and I kind of had to learn as I went along here but just just make sure that you do create like a teardrop shape using the golden paint so that the whole of the rhinestone sticks to the canvas very well and very evenly. So these rhinestones are the beginning of our petal shapes on this canvas so I'm now just outlining each of them using the rich gold acrylic paint cone and then I'm going to do another layer outlining them just to really help them to pop because they are going to be surrounded by a lot of other stuff that you're going to see happening in a few moments. just outlining these rhinestones for the second time and you'll get better with time if you're new to this art form uh, but you basically just need a steady hand and just make sure it's as neat as possible and it just follows the shape of the rhinestone and now we are going to start on the bulk of these petals which will be a few different rows of walking the dots in different colors I'm starting with this gorgeous sky blue metallic paint cone. I think this is from an Arteza paint range that I got for my birthday. I'll try and link everything down below if I do remember. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to walk the dots around. So make sure your first dot right at the top is very plump and then you're slowly going to graduate those dots down and they get smaller as you go along. <laughs> With your second colour I chose to go for my gorgeous iridescent lime green and I'm just going to walk the dots all the way around that first layer of dots that we've already done.
begin on the third layer of walking the dots. Um, there's a lot of walking the dots in this in this part of the piece. So here I am using this gorgeous metallic purple that is also from the same Arteza paint range as the sky blue. I will try my best to link it down below but it's absolutely gorgeous. There's another six colours in this range that I haven't yet tried that are just sitting over there um, in my little art space still waiting for me to explore them and I also uh, treated myself to more metallic paints off Amazon so there will be more videos coming soon where I do test those colours out um, and share them with you guys. the dots around each of the rhinestones three times in three different colors we've got this really gorgeous shape and I just really want to highlight that so I have taken my rich gold acrylic paint cone and I'm just outlining each petal and I really made a point of making the tip of the petal quite pointed because I feel it really helps the petal to stand out so feel free to do this as well and yeah just use that steady hand <laughs> that hopefully you've been cultivating all this time and just go around each of the petals as neat as, as you possibly can. And while you're here, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, it would be so amazing if you could and you could help me on this journey of sharing my art on YouTube, sharing my art with the world and hopefully helping you to also unleash the creativity within you. Just a simple subscribe, a like and a comment really helps this channel out, helps these videos to reach more people and hopefully helps to heal the world through creativity and we really, really need a lot of healing right now so yeah please go ahead and click that subscribe button and now I am just bringing a bit more of that henna inspired element to this mandala so I'm just creating some humps around each petal humps scallops whatever you want to call them just create a nice fine layer of these off these petals quite nicely I'm gonna do a layer of dots around each petal but when you are when you do do this just make sure you leave some space in between each dot as I am going to add another color in between each of the dots that we've already created and it gives like a really nice embroidery type effect and um, which you'll see in a moment so yeah I'm just using my bright yellow acrylic paint cone for the first layer and then I'm going to go in between each dot with my iridescent pink.
what you didn't see between the last part of this video where I created the dots and this part was me just marking out some circles where I'm going to add more mirror embellishments. So basically I just went in between each petal, measured out the size of the mirror that I'm going to use and created a circle using my compass. Um, you can actually place the mirror down as well and just trace around it. And now I'm doing a layer of dots in this iridescent blue just outside the outer edge of that circle because we want the mirror to sit nicely right in the middle and I want the dots literally just to kind of encase the mirror all the way around it. part of the mandala I'm just going to be adding some smaller teardrop shaped rhinestones in a multitude of different colours. Now I wasn't fussy about this I literally just used whatever colour came out of the bag so this was a mixed bag from Timu again of smaller teardrop shaped rhinestones they're iridescent again so they catch the light with all different colours but it is a bag of multicoloured teardrop so I've got like a dark blue I've got an orange I've got a pink I've got a turquoise and I just let whatever came out the bag come out the bag and stuck it down so again just use your rich gold acrylic paint cone to do this in the spot that I'm doing it here as you can see and then we're just going to outline these once again in the rich gold just to really make them pop I recently actually showcased this piece at an exhibition or like a big show that I was a part of at Alexandra Palace here in London and a lady came to my stand and she absolutely fell in love with this piece um, and this is my first ever mirrored mandala, uh, bear that in mind. So she was just telling me about mirrors in artwork and in Indian culture and how mirrors are added to artwork and to clothes uh, to repel like negative energy they're there for protection um, and I found that really fascinating because being from an Indian background myself I never knew that yet as a child um, a lot of my clothes would have mirrors in them and even now I'm really drawn to Indian clothes that do have mirrors in them so just to learn that about the history was really really fascinating for me um, and yeah I don't know if any of you guys watching this are also from like an Indian or South Asian background but when I was about five or six I had this gorgeous like waistcoat jacket that we'd wear over our traditional clothes and it was just embellished with like hundreds of tiny little mirrors and it was just gorgeous <laughs> so creating this piece and just watching myself back creating this piece and um, it really brings back memories of those days so yeah I just thought I'd share that with you and now coming back to the design of what I'm creating I am just going in with my iridescent orange and just adding dots into the into the empty spaces just to fill them up a bit and bring all the piece together and now I'm just going back to that center circle where the mirror is going to go and I'm just doing a layer of yellow dots and I'm going to add pink dots just to match the outline of the petals that we did earlier. <laughs> We finally come to the part where this piece really really comes to life with those beautiful sparkly magical mirrors so to get to this point the piece had obviously been dried and then I did add a couple of layers of sealant to it I usually go for Mod Podge the glossy variant 
um, and as you can see it gives it a nice sheen and it protects the piece and now finally we're going to add the mirrors so I'm just using a really strong uh, craft glue to add the mirrors just adding some to the back of the mirror itself and some onto the canvas giving it a few seconds to dry and get tacky and then just using my fingers and placing one of the round mirrors into each of the spaces created for it. And honestly, I really love how this piece came together in the end. It's really one of my favourite pieces so far. I can't wait to create more and explore more with mirrors and other embellishments. And right now I've got so many ideas in my head, not enough time, but I will make it happen and I will share everything here on YouTube with you guys. So please do like, comment, share and subscribe. Please let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. And just once again, thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.